Okay. So, everyone, let your body just relax. Allow your body to breathe naturally and comfortably within its own right. Your body knows how to breathe and you don't need to worry about it. The oxygen will just flow through you. If you want to take a deeper breath, do so. If you want to just relax. It's a wonderful thing when you breathe because every breath that you take into your body flows fully through your entire body. Every cell in your body has an oxygen receptor to it. It's truly amazing when the breath comes in through your nose or your mouth and it flows down your throat to your lungs. And then later your lungs let it rise up and out the process we don't even realize is how much of that oxygen gets pumped straight to our heart to mix with our blood and to flow through our veins and our arteries to then mix in with our organs and our flesh. And when our body exhales, it is letting out all of the carbon dioxide and all of the debris that's in your body. Each breath passes all the way through your total being and then releases without even a thought or an action. It just happens. So as we allow our body to take over the breathing, you can turn your attention to your feet. Give your feet permission to relax. Give your feet permission to take full responsibility and autonomy to allow the energy of your body to flow out, out of your body, into our wonderful Mother Earth who cradles us and gives us nurturing love. You'll find as your feet relax and the energy just naturally flows through you and out into the earth. Naturally and instinctively, automatically, your crown chakra opens. The top of your head relaxes. It may even feel light and tingly. It may feel as though energy is flowing in. And as the energy flows in through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, and flows down through your body, unencumbered to your feet where it just flows out all around pooling. You may see it like a lake turning into an ocean flowing around you, or like the roots of a tree spreading out wide and deep, and the sap, the divine nectar that comes from the heavens, flows in through the top of your head, through your body, down through your legs and your feet, out, down, and widespread. You will notice that the more energy that flows out through your root chakra, 
the more energy is able to flow in through your crown chakra. The more energy that flows in through your crown allows your head to feel even more light and buoyant. As though the cells and molecules in the top of your head don't even need to connect anymore. They're comfortable just spreading out wide and allowing more room for divine energy to flow into you and down through you. Like a beautiful sacred waterfall that tumbles down into your crown chakra and flows through the beautiful divine tube of your body down to your root chakra and then off into our beautiful earth. Allow yourself to imagine that you are in a beautiful garden on a perfect summer day. The air is warm on your flesh with just a hint of moisture. There's a gentle summer breeze flowing. The sun is warm on your face. With occasional light fluffy clouds floating by in the beautiful blue sky. And just as the sun might begin to feel like it's too warm, a cloud comes over and gives you a shade and then retreats, allowing the warmth to hit your skin again. The air smells like green grass and fresh wildflowers. When you sniff, you can tell there's honeysuckles growing nearby and roses somewhere. You sniff the air and feel the aromas of fresh nature that are carried to you. The smell of dark, loamy soil. Green grass. It's the smell of summer at its peak of perfection. You look around and you see all the beautiful details of the garden that surrounds you and the paths through the flowers. Every single flower bed is in its peak of perfection colorful, aromatic, bright, and open. Beautiful statues. Lovely little sitting areas. You can hear the little buzz of various insects as you see grasshoppers jumping, nibbling on the edges of little leaves, butterflies fluttering past. Hummingbirds finding their way to the nectar rich flowers. Up ahead, you see some bunny rabbits playing a cute little bunny rabbit game as they're nibbling on tender green growths. 
and hopping around with a game of bunny tag. Off in the distance, you see a family of deer grazing, their tails down and relaxed because they know they're safe. Even though they're aware of a little pussycat who's stalking them, this pussycat who forgets himself and thinks he's as big as a lion instead of as tiny as a house cat, crawling through the tall grass with fantasies and delusions of grandeur. But the deer aren't worried. And you can see that they're speaking with each other in their own subtle language of telepathic connection. Occasional little shudder of flesh, or a flick of a tail, or a twitch of an ear, as they are enjoying their time in this beautiful garden. You see a lovely path that is calling to you. As you walk through this garden, Along this path, smelling the flowers, feeling the warm sun on your skin, and the delicious, slightly cool breeze flowing and beating against your sun warmed skin. And as you walk along this path, and you notice the bright, gaudy colors all around you. You hear some birds chirping in the distance, calling to each other. You continue on your path. following the sounds of these birds. You wonder, where are these birds? You see in the distance a forest. And you can see this path will take you there, where you notice the birds are calling out. And as you continue on your path, you notice the garden is falling away behind you. And your landscape turns more to a meadow. A meadow that feels increasingly wild as the fresh mown grass turns to tall, wild grasses and wild flowers. And you see even the beautiful red dots along the path of wild strawberries. You see raspberry and blackberry bushes. You stop for a moment to pick a few berries and let the moisture burst in your mouth with each berry that you crush between your tongue and the roof of your mouth or squish between your teeth. And you notice several birds who appear on the raspberry and blackberry bushes join you with eating some berries and then they turn to you and they sing, hurry, hurry, come join us in the forest. So you pick a few more berries to put in your hand and eat as you walk on your path, 
through the tall wild grass and the tallly swaying speckles of color wild flowers towards the forest. And as you walk and the terrain of your path becomes even a little more wild. There's some rocks and stones in it. It's a little more meandering. The world of manicured gardens has left you behind. And you walk towards the forest where you hear a beautiful babbling brook calling to you and you realize how thirsty you are having been on this path through the woods and as you enter the edge of the forest you see alongside the path there is a creek with rocks and tumbles and meanders flowing through the root balls of the tree, the foresty trees. You sit down and kneel over the creek, cupping both your hands into the water. And you raise your hands up, bring it to your lips, knowing that this water is fresh and pure, mineral rich, clean and clear. And you may even pat some of the cool water onto the back of your neck and your face. Letting yourself feel fully refreshed as you gaze into this creek of clear flowing water where you can see all the pebbles and stones beneath it. And you can see some little fishies playing in little pooled areas and a big papa bullfrog staring at you from a fat branch across the creek. He's looking at you in the eyes as his neck beneath his chin bulges out and he lets out a looking you right in the face. You give him a nod of your head in greeting. Stand up and continue your way along your now rocky, twisty, turny path that takes you deep into the heart of the woods. You can feel the ancient beauty of these woods as so you look around and see the ground is covered with moss, moss that grows thick over tree roots and boulders over the land and landscape. You look at these trees that reach up high into the sky to a beautiful leafy canopy high above that looks like varying shades of emerald above you and shafts of light shining down, hitting the ground and spots within the trees. And you see various little mammals, squirrels, and chipmunks, and again those silly bunny rabbits, jumping around and climbing trees. You can see birds flying from branch to branch. Baby birds high in their nests, calling to their mothers to feed them. You can feel the ancient 
power of this forest. The air is thick with healing magic. You reach out your hand and touch some of the mossy banks and you can feel the healing energy rise up from the moss entering your hand and going up through your arm filling your being with ancient divine love from earth and nature it fills your being and lights up your chakras with the magic and mystery of our planet. Do you go on your way through the forest until your path stops in front of a beautiful ancient tree? This tree is speaking to you, calling to you. This is a divine tree. If you put your hand on the bark of the tree, you can feel this is the tree of life. And not just any tree of life. This is the tree of your life. This is the tree that connects you to life itself, to your history of lives, to your energy of life. Look at this tree. You can walk around the tree, put your arms around the tree, rub your cheek against the bark of the tree, lay your ear against the tree, connect with your tree. What does it wish to tell you? Look up at how tall your tree is. And your tree says to you, I issue upon you an invitation. Come into me and be one with me. You can feel this tree open up and envelop you, enfold upon you and invite you in to be one with your tree, the tree that connects you to all your lives, the tree that has been connected with you for all your lives. And as you flow into your tree, finding yourself flowing closer and closer to the core of your tree, you can feel how the roots of your tree are tapped so deeply and sublimely into earth. You can follow the energetic resonance of any root and feel which are wrapped around stones, which roots are connected with, bonded with, and coiled around the roots of other trees, which roots grow deep, and which roots spread out, which roots are bringing moisture and energy and healing resonance 
from the earth on up through the tree? Which roots are pulling in the energy that creates the sap that flows up through the tree to keep every fiber and grain moist and energetically flowing? Allow yourself to just connect with this energy that is flowing up from the earth through the fibers and grains of the tree that rise up from deep, deepest, deep down in the dark, dank earth on up through the roots through the tree, you can feel this energy raising you up through the fibers of the tree, passing knot holes, owl's nests, raccoon burrows, areas where various insects and grubs have made their homes between the bark and the tree on up where the branches sprout out and divert a small portion of the energy as you are rising up and up and up to the tops of the highest branches at the canopy of the, t of the tree where the leaves are broad and bright, wide open, absorbing the sunlight and absorbing the moisture from the air. And when the raindrops fall, the moisture from the clouds, you find yourself rising up through the tree, through the leaves, on up even higher to the clouds. The clouds is where all the moisture from the tree rises up to. And later the clouds will return the moisture to the ground to continue this beautiful life cycle of moisture and life. But you find you're so light, you rise up even higher, rise up through the clouds, on up, like a flake of light rising up till you can look down and see the clouds below you as the atmosphere becomes lighter and you are rising up through the hemisphere into the galaxy and the stars as you are rising you become lighter, more buoyant, until you rise out of time and space. You rise up to the place between time and space. rise up to the infinite void where all is one. You rise up to the bardo, the twilight realm, the land between time and space, the land between physical, spiritual, between energetic and reality, the land between all that connects all to the bardo, the twilight realm, where you are free to be without even being. Allow yourself to resonate 
in this frequency, in this non-space, in the twilight realm, you can connect with anything just by calling it to you. From here, you can look out and see anything and everything. Or you can exist just as a lovely moment of nothing. For now, we are calling our past lives to us. So stand in your realm and call out, my past lives come forward, present yourself to me. And you see immediately here in the bardo, doorways popping open all around you. There may be a few or there may be a seemingly infinite amount. But you'll notice each doorway is here for you. Each is a portal that can take you to a past life a place that you have already been and experienced. Each of these lives feels connected to you in the here and now. You can take a moment and walk past these doorways to see how your senses connect with them. Just observe the doorways and your response to each one as you go past it. Which of your senses is most easily stimulated? You may have a visual response or auditory, or emotional, or just a sense of knowingness. However you are receiving, allow this to be how you receive, and let it flow to you. You'll notice one doorway in particular is calling to you. You can feel the connection, the bond. Go to this doorway and observe it in however you are receiving your information. What does this doorway look like? What material is it made of? Do you hear anything or feel anything? What sort of energy is coming from it? And now open this doorway and step through. After you've gone through the door, give yourself a moment to just resonate and acclimate to your new space. How are you feeling now? In what way does this environment connect with you?
allow yourself to receive the information however it comes through even if that keeps changing throughout this experience you may ask questions and then allow the answers to come when they do Where are you? In what timeline? Are you inside your body of that life or watching or receiving information a different way or all of the above? When in this life have you arrived? Is your life a male or a female? You can ask that life questions. How old are they at this moment? What is their name? What are they doing? And then relax and allow the information to flow into you however it will. Ask this life to take you to an important experience in this life, to show you the experience and share why this was so meaningful. Ask this life to show you the end of life experience. How old were you at the end of your life? What was your life like towards the end?
have this life show you how they passed, how they died. Where were they? What was their death like? Whom were they with? And how did they feel as they were dying? Invite this life to rise up with you back to the bardo, to the twilight realm. And as the two of you are journeying up together, ask this life, how did they feel about their life? Do they have any final thoughts or anything to say? As the two of you return to the twilight realm, walking back through the doorway together, the two of you look at that doorway together. Does your past life wish to share with you anything about what you see when you look at that doorway? Thank your life for having shared time with you. Now that the two of you are connected, you can reconnect any time that you wish. And I want you to take a moment and look around, open your heart, and let your heart guide you to another doorway. Go forward or wherever. You can look at the doorways around you or feel the energy of them or hear what is calling to you or what sounds are coming from the doors until you find yourself at a doorway that feels right for this moment. Explore this doorway. What does it look like? How does it feel? Is there anything special about it that stands out to you? And now open the doorway and walk through to whatever awaits. Give yourself a moment to acclimate to your new environment. Let yourself be open for whatever senses flow into you. 
to share the story of this life. You may ask questions knowing that the answers will come in in their own way as they're ready. Who are you in this life? Are you a man or a woman? Where is this life? Do you have any idea when it is? What sort of skills or knowledge or education do you have in this life? What feeling rests in your bosom, in your heart? Ask this life to show you an important time in your life's history and share the story of this time with you. Ask this life to take you to a further time in life, another time that was meaningful, and to share this experience with you. Ask this life to take you to his or her final moments and death. What was this death like? How did it feel for this life to die in this way? Are there any final thoughts or emotions? that this life can share with you.
ask this life if it went according to plan? Were the soul contracts honored? Did the life stay on the life path? Or did nothing go as planned? Was this what he or she had expected when they planned their life? And now ask this life to join you as you rise up and return to the bardo, the twilight realm. Thanking this life for sharing an experience with you. And as the two of you return through the doorway, The two of you together look at this doorway. Are there any details you had missed before or anything that's revealing itself now that you have further intimate knowledge of the life? Anything the two of you can discuss? Thank this life for having shared time with you. And you know that now that the two of you have connected, you can reconnect anytime you wish, anytime you need. As you part ways and you continue walking, through these doorways, seeing how many lives you have lived that are here for you to visit with and connect with any time you wish to return here. And you find nestled comfortably between two doorways a lovely bench, like a park bench. And you see sitting on the bench is someone who loves you very dearly. Someone who is beckoning to you, calling to you. You go and you sit beside your beloved friend. You embrace And your friend, this one who loves you so dearly, has a message for you. This one says, I am so happy to be here with you now. My love for you is eternal. Even though our relationships have shown themselves in so many ways through so many lives and between. Look upon this one and know in your heart who this is and feel how pure is your love connection. your beloved friend 
has a gift that is for you to help you as you continue this journey. Receive this gift. And then your beloved one, and you embrace and you know it is time for you to continue your journey. So you rise up and your heart calls you to a doorway. Find your doorway. Let your heart connect you with this doorway. Open it and walk through. Let yourself acclimate. Let your senses connect with this time and place. And allow the information to flow to you through whatever sense or senses it connects to. You can ask the life, who am I? Am I a man or a woman? Where am I? What do I look like? Do I have a name? Why am I in this life? What was the point of it? What was the lesson? And then allow yourself to be pulled into this life Ask yourself of that life. Show me a powerful moment within this life. Best, worst, whatever. A moment that really impacted my sense of self. You can ask yourself, was this experience planned or is it something that just happened? And no matter what, why? Why was this in my life?
Ask this life to take you to another important time and then another and then another as though you are hopping from moment to moment like a flat stone skipping across the water letting yourself see all the most important moments of this life and each time ask was this intentional or happenstance? Was this part of our plan? Or were these lessons that were learned just because? One moment and then the next. Ask your life, what did you learn in this life that is of value to you in the life that you are living now? Ask yourself, what skills can you in this life make use of from that life? What strengths can you borrow? And now, you and this life take each other by the hands and allow yourselves to just rise up and return to the bardo, return to the twilight realm. As you walk through the doorway of the life back to the twilight realm, you will find the other two lives and your beloved friend are there waiting for you. They take you by the hands so that you are all standing in a circle holding hands here in the twilight realm surrounded by all the doorways of your lives. You can feel the energy that connects all of you. 
And you can feel how even as you are each individuals, you are also bonded, connected as one. And that each of you has wonderful skills and abilities that can help each other. That each of you has the same current of pure love that flows through your souls, through your soul. And you can feel the gratitude that each of you shares with this beautiful connection. You can also feel how this connection is there not just with these lives, but with all the lives that you have existed in. I want you to take this love and let it flow into your heart, this sense of connection, And as your heart fills with so much love from all the aspects of you and your eternal state of existence to you here in this one life physical state of existence, allow that love to flow into your heart in the here and now. And as your heart is filling with love, allow yourself to fill back into your physical body. And even as you are flowing into your state of being, you can feel how you are connected energetically to all that you have experienced and all the many other experiences that are lovingly waiting for you to connect to. Let yourself breathe and flow back into your physical being Wiggle your fingers and toes a bit as you meld back into yourself. You may want to put your hands over your eyes or over your heart as your energy is reabsorbing. Stretch a little. When you are ready, open your eyes and welcome yourself back. Hi. Welcome back.